Hello and good morning. Welcome to another quick tip for No One Survived. Today we're going to talk about learning skills and how to improve them. Before we kick off, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, um, that would help me a lot in promoting the content that I'm creating. It also feeds into the YouTube algorithm to help YouTube understand the types of content that you enjoy. With that said, let's kick off. First, let's look at the skills themselves. If you open up your inventory and look in the very top left hand corner, you'll see a skill book. Click on that and you can see the current skills that you have as well as the level um, that you have. There are three ways to improve your skills. The first is using a crafting bench. Essentially craft something while the crafting interface is open. And if the interface is open while you are um, creating something, you will see a small increment in the amount of skill um, that, you, that you learn. As you can see just here. Mechanics has improved just a little bit. This is effective, um, but it's pretty slow and pretty painful. You have to have the crafting bench interface open at the point that the item is created for you to have any improvement in the skill itself. If the interface is closed, you won't see any improvement as you're creating items. Pretty painful, but that's just the mechanic on how it works. Second way is using skill books. If you have a skill book in your inventory, right click and use. After about 10 seconds, you'll see a pretty modest improvement in the skill itself. You need to use the appropriate level skill book for the skill that you currently have and the skill you want to improve. Here, this is cooking volume two. Cooking currently is uh, at up one and we're improving the second level of the skill now. If we do that a couple more times, that should bump the skill up to level three. Uh, That should bump the skill up. Every time you do this, you'll see that the mood will decrease um, by an amount. This is uh, only relevant when you're using the skill books or the third method, which is the merchants. To improve your mood, you have three options, four actually. One is sleeping. Um, your mood will improve a little bit um, every time you sleep. You have food items which will improve your mood, usually by a very small amount. Here it will improve by five. There's also magazines, as well as other consumables that you can use. Magazines will improve by 10. Smoking <laughs> improves by 30. There's also beer and wine that you can drink which will improve your mood. Let's have one of these cigarettes. That will bump us from 30 to 60 and then we can uh, learn the skill book. When the mood goes below a certain amount, you won't be able to learn anymore. Not until you improve it. That should bring us up to level two. And now if we try to use a level two book, we're gonna message saying that we have completed it or we have it in a sufficient uh, level. The third item is using the merchants that you can see on your map. So if you open the map, you'll see this white icon with a little person inside. They will teach you various skills. Different merchants will teach you different skills at different levels. The third method is with using, here we're gonna learn cooking, uh, level three, there you go. This would decrease your mood, like with reading a book, It's saying it can't teach us, which means our cooking is currently... Mm, here we're going to learn cooking. For level 3, we need a relationship of 60, we only have a relationship of 40. So we go back to the gifting again, give away. Now we have a relationship of 100, so we can ask for cooking level 3. Yeah. 
there you go. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.